hello guys welcome to my youtube channel on this video we are going to learn how to produce the true length of a line but first if you are first watching my video and you've not subscribed to my channel please check the subscription button and hit the button thank you so today we are going to look at how to how to um, produce the true length of a line so when a line is given to you how to produce a true length but when you talk about the true length what is the true length the true length of a line can be obtained by projecting perpendicular to the line in any of its view so let's start with the tutorial so we have two lines here so if these two lines this can be the front view and this can be the plan so with the for us to find a true length we can project the auxiliary projection that's the auxiliary projection at any point you want that's any direction you can do it here you can do it here you can also do it this side and you can also do it this side but i'm taking my direction from here so i'm going to project it on this line for us to do that now we need to get a plane on this so we introduce a plane which is x and y plane so we have our x and y plane and also we should know the distance from b to y so this is the distance from b to y this is normally done drawn to scale but when doing it make sure you do it with scaling so now b to y so actually i'm going to project here so this this will be my ap that is my auxiliary projection so here becomes my ap so i'm projecting it on this length so when i project it on this length this should be uh 90 degrees with a plane that's with the second plane that is x1 and y1 so the auxiliary projection must be perpendicular to the plane and also here becomes my mutual view this becomes my mutual view that is my mv my mutual view which is my mutual view and this become my mutual projection that is my mutual projection mp my mutual projection so let's continue on so since you have your perpendicular line we are going to project this length on this um plane so as you can see with this edge it, what you are doing here is simple easily it's easy and understood because from here you know that we have a plane here so you are just projecting this length on this plane so let's see something when we project this a on this plane as you can see from here a is on the plane here as you can see it's on the plane so here a will be here that is a will be on the plane now let's project b b is here but from this distance to here from b to y you can see that there's a distance and note that if you draw a plane and the the length is below the plane therefore this plane becomes negative so when reading the value for for b it's going to come here inside the plane so when you do that correctly you're going to get a line so you see that distance from b to y is the same distance from b to y but here here becomes your b here becomes your b since this is negative it will come inside so you are going to join from your a here becomes a a we're going to join our a to the b whereby we get our true length so this length becomes our true length as simple as that what you need to know is that we are just projecting this line or this length here and look at the plane it's here so we are just projecting the this is our auxiliary projection so this is the projection making perpendicular with the plane so just projecting our a here which is on the same plane but with our b it is outside so the plane is inside the plane mostly when you're using the cartesian plane the down plane is always mostly negative so why that's why b is negative so the b will not go outside it will come inside imagine that the line is supposed to be here or the plane is supposed to be here that is down here therefore the line will come outside the plane thank you very much for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel.